Hi everyone and welcome to a new weekly vlog. We've literally just premiered the last one. So thank you to everyone who attended that vlog. I'm going to turn the camera. By the way, I'm in my kind of almost tartany Christmas pyjamas. <gasps> do you like them? What do you think? Um, <laughs> I'm now going to turn it around and show you what we're doing because Matt's cooking dinner. So Matt's also got something Christmas themed on. He's got his kind of Christmas... My Udi, but not Udi. Yeah, it's not an Udi. It's for Marks and Spencer's. Either. It's winter because there's polar bears. Yeah. What are we having tonight? We are having a prawn and tomato risotto. Okay. With chicken. Yeah, so we've chosen that one tonight because Matt's funny about prawns, mm -hmm. uh, about them going off. So we've never had anything in the HelloFresh go off, uh, but Matt is a bit concerned a bit about prawns. Seafood. Yeah, so we're going to have that tonight and get those used up. We're going to add one of our chicken portions. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll see that we bought a big pack of chicken and we bagged it all up individually and we've defrosted them when we need them. Tomorrow, so we use one piece of chicken tonight and then another tomorrow. So that's the plan and I'll show it you when it's all done. This recipe calls for a generous knob of butter. So that's what one looks like. And there we have the finished thing. The finished risotto, I should say. All done, let's get it served up and then we are gonna watch some TV. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. It's cold. <laughs> it's really, really, really freezing. So we do have the door open because the cats are in and out. Yesterday, Bo decided, he's just over in the corner there, um, Bo decided to come in round about lunchtime and then we shut the door and we put the heating on round about five o'clock. Uh, <laughs> but there's no point having the heating on with the door open. Anyway, it's cold, so it's a work day for me. In fact, it's a work day for us both. I can just see my lenses changing because of the light. Um, it's a work day for us both, so... <sighs> What I've been doing, as you know, I have been trying my best to have moments in the day when I can sit down and relax, which has not been terribly easy considering my schedule has been so busy. Um, so I'm going to make a coffee now and I'm going to show you what I do in between filming. So I've already filmed one royal video today. Uh, what I'm going to do <laughs> is have a break. Um, what I've found, I'm top. I'm trying to do three videos a day on Tuesday and Wednesday to kind of stack the content and put it out there. My lenses are going even darker. Um, so in between filming a video, I like to let myself calm down, let my voice rest, have a coffee or a tea, some kind of drink, and then kind of take my mind off things. So I'll show you what I do. Well, first of all, I'm still using my uh, morning mug. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. Indeed, they are. But as you can tell, it's past the morning now. So what I do is I switch to my uh, my afternoon and evening mug. Okay, so this is the coffee that I use. It's the Nes Nescafe Gold Blend Smooth and Silky. Um, I just find it's the best sort of really quick instant coffee out there. One spoon of that, one spoon of demerara sugar, and then I use the self-boiling tap. There we go. I think incoming bow, incoming bow. <laughs> and then I just add some milk and it's done. So let me show you what I do next. Hello, Bo, can you find me? Hello, my darling. Have you come to join Daddy for a coffee? And a relaxation. And that's really good. Right, <laughs> so this is what I do. I'm uploading my video and I've got roughly about 10 minutes in between when I need to start filming my next, or, or I need to start doing things anyway. <laughs> so I've got 10 minutes, which is not a great amount of time. What I've been doing, I showed you this app a few months ago now and I've still got it and it's still really, really amazing. So you go into Readly app and there is just a whole host of magazines, gossip magazines, newspapers, factual magazines, gardening magazines, whatever interest you have. I'm just flicking through lifestyle, um, whatever you want. There's all different and they're all in different languages as well. Um, 
this is even like a science magazine. It's all incredible. So what I've been doing is researching Vlogmas. You know, I've already spoken to you in the previous vlog about what I want to do for Vlogmas. So I've been going into like the Christmas magazines, like the Good Housekeeping magazine, and I've been trying to find a Mary Berry. I love Mary Berry. She has amazing recipes. So for Vlogmas, I want to plan on recreating some um, Mary Berry food. I mean, look, there's Christmas dinner, SOS, there's all kinds of things going on. And it's so easy just to flick and there's no wastage of paper. So it's so good for the environment because you don't even have to recycle. You've got a whole wealth of magazines at your fingertips. It really is like having a library on your device. So if you've got a few minutes in the car in between appointments or you're at the gym or whatever it might be, work at break times like me, um, you can just go into whatever you want. Now, I have to say the newspapers are really, really good. So for example, I'm gonna click on The Guardian. Um, I mean, it's just got all the articles at your fingertips. You can pinch and zoom so that you can see. It's really, really, really clever. Um, and it also saves the environment as well because of the transportation. So if you are kind of being a bit more conscious about sort of what your carbon footprint is, then there is not the amount of carbon with all the transportation of the paper and the manufacturing and all of that. So it really is good. Plus also there's lots of house and home and garden type uh, magazines as well. So for example, Home Beautiful. I mean, just look at all the Christmas inspiration. Readly is really, really simple to download. Uh, if you download it now and use my link and discount code, which will be in the description box below, you will get two, three months. That's two, three whole months of looking at all of that content and you can cancel at any time. Right, I'm gonna carry on having my break and then I'm gonna get back to my videos. It's that time of the day again. <laughs> So what are we having? Let's have a peek. We are having a Chipotle chicken fajita tray bake. Um, and we don't have any extra meat to pimp it with but today. We've got broccoli. We do have broccoli, some tender stem broccoli, so that'll be nice. Uh, I think it's the first time you may have seen Matt in the vlog today. I think you saw him Hello. yesterday. Uh, so Matt's been working, I've been working. I managed to get quite a few things done. I know Matt's had a busy day and got all things done. So we're gonna have dinner, we're cold. Um, we've put the heating on. It's 19 degrees, but it, my hands are absolutely freezing. I don't know why. Um, so all the cats are in. We are going to cook. Well, Matt's going to cook dinner. Then we are going to, uh, we're going to watch TV. Yay. We are watching um, season six of The Crown at the moment. We're on episode three next. And it's all done. It smells delicious. So we're going to go and eat it. Hi everybody and welcome to a Wednesday. Why am I just, I'm working, I'm working today, but I'm just, I'm really annoyed a little bit. Well, I'm not annoyed, I'm just, you see, when I'm dressed like this, see, when I'm recording, I record in my living room in front of the very, very big window. Uh, and normally no one walks by, I'm left to my own devices. Ever since I've started filming, everyone, every man and his dog, and woman have been walking past the window and I just feel like, you know, I'm wearing all my finery. I've just been wearing a big massive pearl necklace um, and I just feel a bit of a, like, people are watching me. I don't know, I feel, today I feel conscious. I'm like, why can't people just leave me alone to film and get on with my work? Anyway, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am wearing replica royal jewels today. This is the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara and I am wearing uh, some Cullinan dime, all replica, of course. I haven't had them on long-term loan from the King. Uh, but yes, I'm trying to work and it's just really, not Matt's gone to the gym. He's also, it's also a work day as well. Um, so I'm just like, I, I need to get on. You know, it's already almost 2 p.m. I'm ranting, I'm ranting. So I'm going to go, I'm gonna calm down and hope, and they're just standing right outside the window talking. Tonight's Hello Fresh dinner. What is it? What I don't is think it's too dissimilar. It's a cheesy chorizo pizza inspired pasta break. Yeah. But we've added 
some chicken, some peppers, and a bit There's of There's a few additions, but it's fine. It's all anyway, healthy. It is all healthy. Anyway, I've recovered from my rant earlier. There's Bo. I did have a bit of a rant about about not being able to uh, do my work because I was obstructed by people oh. talking outside the house window. Yeah. Anyway, that's all done now. <laughs> so we're going to go and watch TV. Hello and welcome to Thursday. It is the patrons chat later on tonight, so we need to get that set up. It's also another work day, but I've, I've done a few things this morning. I've also been to the post office and dropped off something that needs returning because I didn't manage to do that over the previous week. So I finally got that done, which feels really, 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 really good to get done. Um, so today I finally want to do a little bit of gardening. If I just turn the camera around, you can see um, that it's it's not a particularly nice day, but it is at least dry. It's not actually raining, which is amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to take opportunity and go outside and actually get some things, some jobs done. I'm seriously doing it today. Uh, then, like I say, we've got the Patrons Chat. So if you didn't know what the Patrons Chat is, uh, there's a website and an app called Patreon.com. And I've had it for years and years and years. Every week I go on and I do a live stream with Matt. It's called Cooking and Chat with Elliot and Matt. We go on for around about an hour uh, and we cook dinner and we have a chat. And it's a good time to kind of, you know, unwind, offload, talk to people. Um, it's really, really fun. Uh, so I'll leave all of that linked in the description box below. You do have to be a member of that. Um, so I need to set all that up, do some more work, um, and then that's it for today. Uh, and we, we don't have much planned over the weekend either, so it could be another boring video for you guys. Right, so my first job is to separate out these two pots of wallflowers. There should be about six in each pot. Um, and they are the, the Persian carpet variety. So they're not the variety that I actually wanted. What I really wanted was Sugar Rush because Sugar Rush um, pretty much comes uh, twice a year. So as you can see, the root ball is pretty pot bound. And I'm hoping, I think it's gonna have to be a case of literally dividing almost in half and then teasing them out. So uh, the root ball, yeah, I'm gonna have to be quite, delicate so there's for example is one plant and the only way to do this is just to be a little bit rough I don't really think you can do it any other way but I am going to put these in the borders um, so we'll see in a moment roughly how many I mean some of them are looking a little bit more healthy than others uh, but we'll have to see how they how they fare I mean look at these some of these are not looking very good at all but we'll put them in and we shall see how they go um, and that's all we can kind of hope for. So I'm getting quite a lot out of them. Uh, I'm getting more than what I thought. Here is the second pot going in. We also have Bo that has just turned up. <laughs> Hello Bo, are you going to come and help as well? So again, it's just a case of, I mean, you can also use a knife if you want to. Um, I'm preferring to use my fingers because I got a little bit more control over them. But as you can see, that's how they divide up. So this pot is looking perhaps a slight, I mean look, the when you divide them off the roots are not very big. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be very careful when I put them in. But hopefully I'll keep doing a progress check all the way through, uh, all the way through winter. So I'm just separating them out and then we will get planting. So I've actually, I've just counted and I've managed to get 19 individual plants out of those two pots so that's more than what i thought i was going to have um, so i'm going to put them mainly around the front borders okay so also i have these bulbs uh, i've got 20 miniature tete-a-tetes uh, some double tulips and i'm not quite sure what these are <laughs> oh stocks they're stocks um so i'm not quite sure where i'm going to put them i think the tete-a-tetes the tete-a-tetes i want in here somewhere so i need to kind of the best way is to just throw them on and then plant where you where they land okay so i'm sure you can see i've just literally randomly thrown them on and where they've landed that is where they're going to get planted there we go so i've planted all the bulbs and i've laid out nine of the wallflowers in the front border and i'm going to pop them in and just literally see what happens i've just been digging and there's a little robin can you see the robin the robins come very very close 
can just about see if I zoom in. There you go. Uh, I think because I'm doing all the digging, he's finding all the worms. Just look. I don't think I've ever been so close to a robin. Hello, little one. How are you doing? Have you come to help me do the gardening? I think you have. Right, so the wind is picking up. It's a race against time. I'm trying to prioritize things now. I did get all of the wallflowers in the front bed. I think they'll look really good together en masse. Now I need to get the violas into these pots here, and then we'll see what the weather's like in a little bit. Okay, so that's all of the pansies in. I think I've been calling them violas, uh, but I think they're actually pansies. So they're all in. I need to give them a little bit of a water, although I think it might rain very, very soon. So the only thing I've got left to do is literally just these sweet williams. Right, so I've managed to get them in. They are literally in between the roses, spaced out nice and equally. So I managed to get all of them in the front. Okay, just in time. It's just started to rain lightly. Bo's still outside, but I'm sure he'll come in very soon. I'm gonna go in now and get all my dirty hands cleaned up. Hello and welcome to Friday. Yes, it is going to swimming. It's swimming day for me. It's squash day for Matt and his friends. Uh, and then we're going to come back and it is cheat day. So after swimming, we are going to have a naughty KFC. So it's the first time I've picked the camera up today. It's been a work day. Uh, so I've I've done a video for Royal Reviewer. I've done lots of fiddly bits today. It's been a fiddly bit and a work day. Also a work day for Matt too. Um, so that's basically what we've done. It's cold outside, Bo's in, Molly's upstairs, Rory's in his little dome basket uh, in the other room with Matt. Uh, so we're going to get ready uh, and go very, very shortly. Got some ambiance on in the background. We do like a bit of... I've switched now to the Christmas ambiance. I was leaving it off for as long as possible. With regards to Christmas decorations, uh, I think we're going to put them up probably sometime next week because it's getting to the point where we need to. That chair normally gets shifted a bit further over and then the tree goes where that chair is and then Bo actually quite likes the chair when we actually move it. Um, although he does like being next to the radiator as most cats do. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going swimming. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, like I did last time, I really enjoy being in the water. I am a little bit of a water baby. So uh, anything to do with the water. You can make the joke, I love water sports, I do. Uh, anything water related, I'm there. The seaside, anything. Uh, so loving that. And then the weekend, we haven't really got a lot planned. It's a little bit dull, I have to say. But we did have a nice day today and I wanted to go out and mow the lawn for the final time. The, the neighbour had their lawn mowed. Uh, so I thought, well, OK, maybe there is chance to, to do it. Uh, so I'm hoping I get a chance tomorrow to do it. We'll see. If I do, I'll take you along. There we go. Just filling up with fuel at the Sainsbury's petrol station on the way there. Uh, and we'll, I'll check back with you later. And we have made it. So we're going to go. Matt's going to play squash. I'm going to go swimming. And then, oh, yeah, Matt's showing off his legs. And then when we come back, we are going to head to KFC. Matt's showing off his legs. You are showing That's off your that legs. Gives. That gives, you know, when the little kid goes, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, well done. <laughs> Matt's showing off his legs. Well, he has got good legs. Look Thank at them. God. Look at those pins. <gasps> I'm going to put them. I'm going to give them their own. Their only fans. Is it, are they going to be on the thumbnail? They might be. <laughs> oh look, they're like pros. They'll be in the Olympics soon. Look at the power. Look at the strength. Look at the thighs. <laughs> you almost whacked yourself in the face. <laughs> okay, how many calories did you burn? In one hour and 20, 1,447. Wow, if you didn't hear that, 1,437 was that? 47. 47, yeah, wow. Good morning, Saturday. Look at the frost on the roof. So it was a very cold night last night. Very, 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 very cold. Anyway, I am going to try, if I can, and do the lawn <laughs> today. 
That's my aim. Just having my morning coffee outside, and this is how, how cold it was. Look, the bird bath has actually frozen over. Um, so yes, here is the day today. I always have a coffee outside, even if it's raining or cold, whatever. I just grab an umbrella and go. But no, it's not raining, it's not wet. Thank goodness for that. Um, but if I zoom out, you can see it's a nice day. I mean, there is sunshine. It's just very, 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 very cold. But anyway. Majestic. Hello, Rory. Aren't you gorgeous? Silhouetted by the sun. Oh my goodness, just look at the cuteness. Walking past our house. <gasps> look at the little donkey. Oh. So I am at my parents' house, um, obviously making sure everything's okay. They are still in Africa. In fact, they're back next week. So it's gone really, really quick. But I want to show you something that's just above the fireplace. Okay, so I think every parent has this kind of picture of their child. So here is a, I don't know, five-year-old me. And I remember having this photograph taken. It was after school and I was taken to a local photographer. And I remember being posed in that way and told to put my hand like that and rest. Anyway, can you tell it's me? <laughs> Does it look like me? Have I changed much? What do you think? Uh, <laughs> my mom refuses to, to take this down. I'm not quite sure I like it. But anyway, um, so <laughs> look at the eyebrows. I mean, I haven't changed much, have I? So for people that doubt my eyebrows, all I'm going to say is five-year-old me was not a plucker. So there you go. I do not, categorically, I deny plucking my eyebrows. And I can still do the pose. Right, so whilst also at my parents, this is the room that used to be our living room when we lived here. Obviously, it's now it's now one house with the connecting door. Um, so this is kind of how my parents have got our old living room. I wanted to talk about swimming. So swimming was really, really good. Matt really enjoyed his squash. Um, we're both a little bit sore in the leg area today. Swimming was really good, but I had a bit of an a bit of an incident, my love. So I'm going to have to have another bit of a rant. I feel like I've had a few rants in this in this vlog. Anyway, so when I the time that Matt can go to play squash with his friends happens to be the kind of family swim time, which is fine. Uh, so we can't go when it's just the adults. So I accept the fact <laughs> that it's going to be full of kids and they're going to be crisscrossing all over the place and getting in your way when you're trying to do laps. I just go and do laps, laps, breaststroke. Um, so I understand that entirely. But what I don't expect is to get whacked in the face with a pair of goggles, or nearly whacked in the face, with a pair of goggles being thrown between a father and a son repeatedly backwards and forth in a, in a public pool that was very, very busy. Um, and then also they were starting, other people as well were throwing goggles and then other people were throwing those weighted sticks that sink to the bottom. Very, very dangerous. Anyway, so <laughs> I discreetly said to the um, pool attendants, you know, I almost got whacked in the face with a pair of goggles. Don't think it's safe. Can you please tell them to stop? To cut a long story short, they didn't. They didn't want to. And um, <clears throat> basically, I asked them, well, you know, what does your health and safety policy say with regards to things that you can throw? Knowing full well that weighted sticks and goggles were not on the list. She said, I don't know. I'm like, how can you enforce rules and health and safety? I've worked in health and safety. Um, how can you do that if you don't know what? Anyway, to cut a long story short, I was left feeling like speechless. Anyway, let me know in the comment section, Do you, are throwing goggles and throwing weighted sticks allowed in your public swimming pool? Let me know. But it did come and bite her on the bum because somebody threw one of the weighted sticks and it almost hit her. So I was like, hmm, as I swam by. Right, so really what I should probably do, I'm going deeper into the house. What I should probably do is a full childhood home tour. Um, <laughs> I should, because the house has changed so much over the years from when I was a child uh, and when I lived here. So anyway, I'm going to go and, oh, maybe I should show you my bookcase, one, one of my royal bookcases. So these are just, uh, well, this is my old filming set for Royal Reviewer. And there is my um, my YouTube plaque 
uh, for passing 100,000 subscribers on Royal Reviewer. Um, anyway, so these are just a few of my books that I've kind of laid out. But I do want one of my reference books, which is behind my plaque, because I need to check something out that came up in a video. So this, the book I want today to get is The Queen's Diamonds. So I want to check that out. Okay, so here are some of my royal clothes that I need to take back to the house. I'm still deciding whether or not I want to carry on filming here or carry on filming at the house. It's easier at the house. So every now and again, I come and sort of get some of my jackets. I mean, also I've got, I've got lots of other kind of royal outfits in here as well. It's the perfect little royal dressing room, but I just don't, I don't, it's easier to just film at the house. Dilemmas. And here is my other royal bookcase <laughs> with lots of royal books. So I've got quite a few. I also have probably the oldest book in my collection is from 1887 and it's called The Queen's Resolve and I recently acquired it um, and it was owned by a Jeanette Williams um, and the inscription on it was actually given in June of 1897 as a present because it's to Jeanette Williams from and I think it's a Mr... Wing, wing, I can't quite decipher what that says. So if anyone can decipher Mr. Who, let me know. But yes, this book was literally during Queen Victoria's lifetime because it's got 1837 until 1897. And we know that she passed away in 1901. Um, so this was actually during Queen Victoria's lifetime. Here we are, it's time to get the final mowing of the year. So I've already put the battery pack in, it should all be charged. Let's just get that out. So not only will it hopefully clear up a few of these leaves, um, but it will prepare the garden uh, ready for the winter. final time this year and there we go the results of the back so my loves it's not my finest mowing <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination but at least it's got it ready for winter which of course was the aim okay we've just come back from morrison's uh, we needed a few bits and pieces but matt's making us a classic cheesy mushroom burger it's the hello fresh one uh, so how's it going going around just peeling some well not peeling yeah. some spuds we're going to pimp it up with an extra mushroom and double it up. And I think we're going to make some fried onions. Here's the extra mushroom. It's Rory. Oh, he's a mushroom. <laughs> Hello, darling. Aren't you gorgeous? So, yeah, it's going to be pimped up slightly. And then tonight is Doctor Who's back. It is. So we're looking forward to watching that. Um, and then what are we doing? What else have we got to watch? Um, That's it. Well, we've finished The Crown, haven't we? The Crown was yeah. good. Uh, what else have we got? Rory, what do you want to watch on TV? He says cats. Yeah, cat TV. Right, so the wedges are going in the oven and I just thought I'd say, we we have this kind of, what's it called? Kenko Smooth and yeah. Smooth Creamer coffee. We love the coffee, but we couldn't find it today and we're out. So I had to, we, we had to choose something different. So we've gone for this. It is finely ground, which is kind of how the smooth one is. Uh, so we'll give it a go and we'll see what this is like. What do you think, Rory? Sorry, it's not Kenko that we have. We normally have the Nescafe Gold Blend Smooth uh, and Silky. As you can see, it's kind of finely ground and it is really, really gorgeous. Okay, I think we're done. So this is the mushroom burger that's slightly pimped. So there are some bread tops to go on as well. And I think we're gonna have some mayo. So. 
There you go, Matt's made one, that's what we're having. Um, and there you go, we're gonna now go and watch some TV. No, we've got wedges yet. We have got wedges, I totally forgot about the wedges. Um, so what are we watching with dinner? We're watching Enchantedness. Um, so yes, that'll be really good. There you go, I almost forgot the wedges, but <laughs> there we go, dinner. Hi everyone, welcome to Sunday. We're off today, Woohoo! Woo! We are going to visit uh, the local town that's all pretty and lovely. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be some nice Christmas things. We want to go and see the really spooky antique shop. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to have a little bit of lunch out, which is going to be the first lunch out we've had for a very, very long time. Yeah, treat yourself. Yeah. Right, so we're going to head to the M&S food hall that also has a cafe. So we're going to go there for lunch. I have got trees with balls. Favour from Life with Favour has bought some of these. Uh, they actually started doing them in Target in the USA. Look what we've got. They are Colin the Caterpillar hot chocolates. Just look at those. Are they different milks or? Uh, no, same. Same. Oh, they, they look gorgeous. Look at those. I've just tried some of Colin and it tastes really good. So the toasties have arrived. Matt's had a tuna, yes. I presume, and I've had um, mushroom, emmental, and truffle. So video for favour. This is what the inside of a Marks and Spencer's food hall looks like. Wow. I know, it looks, that does look very, 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 very nice. So this is like the inside of a Marks and Spencer food hall, for those of you who don't know. Well, just part of it anyway. So here is a lot of the Marks and Spencer's Christmas range. <laughs> It's quite extensive, but no Yule log, not yet. Yeah, Matt's trying on a new coat for Christmas. Um, this is quite nice. What do you think? It looks nice. It does. It looks like it's really comfortable. Is that, is that nice? Is that the kind of coat you want for Christmas? Maybe. Hmm. You need to go and find a mirror so you can see yourself. Okay, Matt's trying another one on because um, his mom asked him about getting a winter coat <laughs> for Christmas. Um, so we're just trying trying some on. That looks nice. See, I just tried that on and it makes me look too short because it's quite long, but that looks really nice on that. It is, I quite like that. I'm gonna have a look at that one. The short jacket for himself and I think his mom's gonna get him the big coat. So that'll be nice. So it's all Christmassy in the centre. Look at that big bauble. Oh, and they've got the really cute little sleepy bears. Which one looks like Rory? That one looks like Rory. Yeah. He actually sleeps like that. There we go. There's a big chandelier, look at that. All Christmassy. And the bauble down below. They have gone all out with the Christmas lights. <laughs> yeah, so they've gone all out with the lights. Just come out of the shopping centre into the street and there's a beautiful big reindeer. It's true, Dolph. So here we are in the high street. Looking very cute. So it's quite busy on a Sunday. Uh, what shop are we going to first? Uh, I don't know. We'll start with wonder. We're going to have a little bit of a wonder. In the antique shop and Matt spotted something he likes. Bovril. Bovril. For health, strength and beauty. That's what you would need, girls. That's what we all need, girls. A, a, a mug of Bovril a day. I also love this hat and headdress. That is just fabulous. I just want to know what happened to the mannequin. <laughs> Matt's found the perfect hat. <laughs> Anyone for a teapot? Ah, look at all these. I mean... They are very, very, very old, and some are very spooky. We've also found some protection spells for witchcraft. Now, one thing I do know is that I think you can't buy someone else's spell and expect it to work. I think you've got to do it yourself with your own intention. Oh, she's had a hard life. Look at her, she's bored at the back. Oh, my goodness. Horrendous. She needs a home. So we've just come out of the antique shop, and there was a, there was a few good finds. Yeah. We didn't buy anything. Mostly but, cursed. Mostly cursed things, yes. Haunted. But I did find some gen... It was a snakeskin bag, if you're into that kind of thing. 20 quid. And there was uh, another leather bag made in England that was like 28 pounds. So there's a few bags. And there was some Selfridges, like, junk jewellery earrings that I think cost a lot more than what they were selling them for. Oh, this is the old market hall in Shrewsbury. So we haven't been to Shrewsbury for ages and we've noticed quite a few shops have either closed or rebranded or changed. 
Uh, you can't stand in the way of progress, you can oh, you? No. Uh, so what are we going to do now? We're going to walk past the cat cafe. Oh yeah. We could do. Well. I think it'll be short, we won't be able to oh, go in. Go isn't it? Is it up there or? No. Oh yeah, it is up there. It's up, it's up here, isn't it? The yeah. cat cafe. So we'll have a look. It'll be short, I think. I think all the cats will be out of residence today. Just look at this Tudor building, how it leans. So this is a genuine Tudor building. It's not mock in any way, shape or form. Just look how gorgeous it is. Cat Cafe is open. There's a snoozy little darling on a beautiful gold that chair. Is the, it's the Darwin, Darwin statue. And the river is just over there. The bridge goes over the River Severn. Just got home and the Hello Fresh is was waiting for us on the doorstep. <laughs> so we're going to find out because we can't remember what we actually ordered. No, so, a bit of a surprise. Yeah. By the way, our link and code is still active in the description box. What does it give you? Uh, sixty percent off the first like box. Ten boxes. No, it's six percent no, off. No, the first box. Twenty five percent off like your next ten. So yes. A good couple of months worth. So it's quite a lot of money off, so check out our code. Yeah. Right, what have we got? Peri Peri Chicken Breast Tray Bake. There we go. Try saying that ten times fast. It's a tongue twister. Ooh. Teriyaki Sesame Chicken. Is it all teriyaki? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's Peri Peri. Oh, it's Peri Peri. I thought it said teriyaki. Creamy Chicken and Mushroom Pie. Oh, that one looks With nice. potato topping and roasted carrots. Look forward to that one. Mm. Uh, creamy Double Mushroom Penne. Okay. And lemon and herb basil in a garlic and butter Ooh, sauce. Ooh, and that one. That sounds nice. With right. herby potatoes and buttery Ooh, peas. Gotta get... Oh, and Matt's doing a Sunday roast tonight I as am. well. I am today. It's all going on. Ooh. So I've got some cosy ambience, or some ambience on, on the telly. Uh, it's all cosy. We've got the heating on, got our Udi's on. Matt's playing video games. Just had a cup of tea. I'm going to sit down now. I've got a few minutes. I, I have been doing a little bit of work today. I probably shouldn't on a Sunday. But anyway, I am now going to sit down with my cup of tea and I am going to take a look at the Readly app and just see what magazines take my fancy. Maybe a gossip magazine, I think, today. Something light. Right, so it's time to finally close out this week's vlog. Yeah. Ah, I, did, I thought it was going to be a boring week. In fact, we got halfway through the week and I thought, this is a boring week for you. <laughs> but let us know, how has it turned out? Has it been boring for you? Because I always get a bit... Like, I don't know whether or not that's more homely vlogs when we don't really go many places is really entertaining. I don't know. But we did go somewhere today. And it was nice to go out. Yeah. Yeah, so Matt's going to start cooking our Sunday lunch. We don't feel like cook Well, you don't feel like cooking. No, but I'll do it. We're tired. We just feel really tired. And it's back to work on Monday. So all systems need to be going. Anyway. Hello. So I've just realised when I've already uploaded and edited the vlog that I haven't said why this video is called our last weekly vlog yeah. um it's not our last weekly vlog because the next vlog is vlogmas so oh, there's molly there in the bedroom uh so yes we're, we're not finishing the weekly vlogs we're doing we're taking a break from them but we're putting out probably about Four. three three vlogs at least a week during vlogmas or christmas themed it's a lot of hard work <laughs> and then in january uh we have our cruise so yeah. When we're back, it'll be cruise vlogs as well. And, then, and we'll be starting back our normal weekly vlog once all that's finished. Oh. So it's not the end. No. We're not going away. It, it's not... a few months of lots of content. <laughs> You're not Yay. getting rid of us that easy. By the way, ignore the bed hair. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put this section in the vlog and then go re-upload it again. Ooh. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us, what to you all, and goodbye. Bye. Honk, honk. <laughs>